Hey, what's up? It's William from Rocket Zero, and welcome to another Pixel R tutorial. In this video, we're going to be building Oogie Boogie from the Nightbear before Christmas. Now, for this guy, we're going to be using some white, black, and brown wool. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and build the outline first. So for that, we're going to grab our black wool, and we're going to start with just three blocks of our black wool. So one, two, three. Now, after those three black wools, what we're going to do is that we're going to have another two black wools going up. And then we need to have five diagonal black wools going up and to the right. So here we go. We're going to use temporary blocks. So one, two, three, four, and five. So make sure you guys have five diagonal black wools like so. Let's count them to make sure we have five. One, two, three four and five so there we have our five diagonal black wools going up and to the right then what we're gonna do so we're gonna grab one temporary block and we're gonna place it right here and then on the top we're gonna have two black wools followed up by three black wools and a middle black wool here then we're gonna grab our brown we're gonna place one brown wool and then a black on the right and then above this three black wools, we're going to add three, I'm sorry, we're going to add four brown wools. And then over here, we're going to have two diagonal brown wools, just like that. Then to the left, we're going to have four black wools going up. Above those four black wools, we're going to add three brown wools and three black wools. So now let's take a big step back. This is what we have so far for our Oogie Boogie. So make sure you guys have this. Now also feel free to stop the video whenever you need to. If you feel like I'm going too fast and you need a little bit of a trip in time, feel free to pause it whenever you need to. So now let's continue. Now on this left side, we're gonna place five black wools going up. So one, two, three, four, and five. So there we have our five black wools going straight up. And then what we're going to do next is that we need to have one diagonal black wool going towards the right. Then we're going to have two black wools. And we're going to place two white wools because we need to add two black wools on the top and two black wools on the bottom and one black wool on the right. Then we're also going to add one white wool here, and we're going to surround it with three black wools. So make sure you guys have this so far. Then what we're going to do next is that we're going to place four black wools going down, like so. Then we need to have one diagonal black wool going towards the right. I don't know why I was so hard to place, but yeah, make sure you guys have one diagonal black wool going down and towards the right. Then we're going to grab our white wool. We're going to place one white wool here with two black wools going towards the right. Let's delete that white wool because that was just a temporary little block. Then we're going to place a temporary block and below it, we're going to add five black wools going down. One, two, three, four, five with a brown wool on the bottom. Then we're going to have one diagonal black wool. Let's take out that temporary block. Then what we're going to do is that we're going to have two. Actually, we're going to add two black wools going up. Followed up by two white wools. Above this two white wools, we're going to add two black wools going towards the right. And then below this two blacks, we're going to go down by eight. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and then eight. Then below this two whites, we're going to go down by six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. On this left bottom side, we're going to skip a block and we're going to go one, two, and three. Then on this right side, we're going to go straight up by seven. So one, two, three, 
four, five, six, and seven. So we're going to go back down here. We're going to skip a block and we're going to go up by four. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to add two rows of three black wools going up. One, two, three. And again, one, two, three. So remember, it's going to be four and then two rows of threes. And then to the right here, we're going to have three black wools like so, anchored by two diagonal brown wools. So now let's take a big step back. That's going to be his mouth. So now we're going to start working on his face. So for that, we're going to grab our black wool. We're going to place three black wools going towards the right. Put one black wool on the bottom here and then two on the top going towards the right. We're going to place one white wool and to the right we're going to add five black wools. We can take out that white wool, even though we should have left it because we're going to go ahead and fill it in with white later. But we were just using it so that we could add those five black wools to the right. Then what we're going to do next is that down here, we're going to place a white then to the right. We're going to go down by three. One, two, three. With three brown wools and two brown wools on the left side going down. We're going to grab our black. We're going to place three black wools. One, two, three. With one black wool here. Two on the left side. And two right there. Then we need to have two diagonal black wools. One and two. Just like that. And then we're going to add one white wool here. And to the left, we're going to add two black wools. Take out the white because that was just a temporary block. Just like that. Then below this black, what we're going to need to do is that we're going to add four black wools going to the left. Just like so. Then we need to add three diagonal black wools. One, two place a brown and then a third black wool for three diagonal black wools and you should also have three diagonal brown wools right on the top of it then to the left of this one black wool we're gonna add three brown wools with three black wools one brown and two black so make sure you guys have this so far pause it if you need to you know what let's take a big step back i would definitely recommend to pause it right here and just do like a little visual check just make sure that everything on your screen looks like my screen before we continue so now let's continue we're going to go up here where we have this four black wools and to the right we're going to add just two black wools so one two then we need to have two diagonal black wools like so then we need to have two black wools going down followed up by three black wools going down on the right side then we need to have two sets of black wools going down on the left side so one two then let's do our second set one and two so there we go. Make sure you guys have this on the right side. Then what we're going to do next is that we're going to have three diagonal black wools going down and to the left. So here we go. We're going to go just one, two, and three. Then we're going to have two diagonal white wools, one and two. To the right of these two white wools, we're going to add three black wools, like so. Then what we're going to do next is that we're going to grab our black wool, and then right here, next to this white, we're going to go up by five. So one, two, three, four, and five. To the right, we're going to add a brown and a black. Then we're going to place a temporary block. With two black wools on the top, delete this temporary block. Actually, no, 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 keep it. Because we need to add 
three black walls to the left. Then we can delete that temporary block. Then on the top here, we're going to add one brown with a black on the top. Below this brown, we're also going to add three more brown wools with two diagonal black wools using brown wool to support the second diagonal black wool. Then over here, we need to have three black wools going up. Just like that. Then down here, we're going to add one black wool in the middle here. Then two black wools to the right of it going down. Followed up by two brown wools. A black and a brown. Then in this little gap, we're actually going to go ahead and fill it in with white just so it's easier to see what we have done. Then we're going to add one black wool here next to this brown. Above this black, we're going to add two brown wools going up. Then we're going to add a white wool with two black wools going, I'm sorry, two brown wools going to the left. Delete that white. And then one diagonal brown wool going to the left. And then the final step is just going to be to fill it in with some white wool or maybe some... I don't know, what would look kind of puffy? Maybe some, no, I don't know that. I think white might just be our best bet. Let's see, maybe white concrete powder. Maybe that'll look a little more puffy. But he is an old bag, so maybe a cream color could also work. But our version, it's just gonna be white, brown, and black. So for that, fill him in with some white wool. So while you guys do that, I'm gonna start saying goodbye. So thank you so much for watching this Oogie Boogie from A Nightmare Before Christmas. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that notification bell if you wanna stay up to date with all our newest videos. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Tell your friends about us, and we'll see you next time. It's a town, everybody's clear, the stone of Halloween. I am the one hiding under your bed, teeth ground sharp and eyes closed.